Amid recent rumors about Max Verstappen's transfer to Mercedes, Red Bull has just released a statement that has changed the whole scenario. The three-time world champion is Red Bull's current lead driver and a hot commodity in the driver's market, especially for Mercedes, who has an empty slot after Lewis Hamilton announced his transfer to Ferrari in 2025. Although Max has a contract with Red Bull until 2028, reports state that a clause in the deal allows him to switch if Dr. Helmut Marko decides to leave the team. Verstappen has fought for Marko in the past and just last year defended his position in the team, allowing him an extension until 2026 with Red Bull. Last year, after Marko's racist remarks aired on Red Bull's own channel regarding Sergio Perez, Christian Horner wanted the 80-year-old Austrian gone from the team. This drove a wedge between Horner and Marco, which is reported to exist up to this day. Now, as Christian Horner is in the middle of a scandal, both Marco and Verstappen could be looking elsewhere for more opportunities. Horner was accused of being controlling and coercive by a female Red Bull employee, but after an investigation, was cleared of any wrongdoing on the 28th of February. But things took a turn for the worse as, right after the first race of the season ended with Verstappen taking first place, Verstappen's father released a statement in the media regarding Horner. Jos Verstappen said that Horner's presence is a danger to the team and could result in the team breaking apart if he stays with them. There is tension here while he, Horner, remains in position, Jos said. The team is in danger of being torn apart. It can't go on the way it is. It will explode. He is playing the victim when he is the one causing the problems. Horner is also said to be a part of a power struggle within the team, and Marco and Joss have teamed up against the Briton. Verstappen's loyalty lies only with these two men, and he will go wherever they go, as has been proven by the clause in his contract. Furthermore, an insider recently reported that Joss and Horner have had a falling out as they were both interested in the same woman. Horner had an ongoing relationship with the supposed employee, whereas Joss started spending more time with her, causing a fight to break out between them. It seems that Joss was spending time with her while Christian was texting her, which has caused a lot of anger between the men who never really saw eye to eye in the first place, the insider said. It's causing a real headache for Red Bull to have the president and the father of the team star driver fighting. Furthermore, the problem worsened when Joss and Horner were caught having a heated argument by a cameraman in Bahrain last week. Then, during the Bahrain Grand Prix, Joss was also seen talking to Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff, which sparked rumours about Verstappen's transfer to the Silver Arrows. When Toto Wolff was asked about the possibility of the Dutchman joining the team, he said that anything could happen in the current driver's market. The market is very interesting, he spoke. For a driver, the most important thing is to be with whoever is fastest. And there is no reason now for Max to leave Red Bull anytime soon, but we'll see what happens. But now Horner has come out and responded directly to the ongoing rumours, saying that Verstappen is happy at Red Bull and would likely stay with the team until the end of his contract. I'm certain he will see out the remainder of his contract, said Horner. He has got a great team around him. He's got great faith in that team. We've achieved a lot together. He's committed to an agreement to 2028. From the team's side, from Max's side, we are determined to build on the success we've achieved already. Those 55 victories have all come in Red Bull cars. All of the podiums have come in Red Bull racing cars. We are determined to build on that and hopefully add many more in the future. As expected, he was also questioned about the fight between him and Joss and he cleared that both people have Max as their first priority and that they have agreed to move on for his interests. He commented, I spoke to Joss following the Grand Prix in Bahrain, which Verstappen won, obviously congratulated him on his son's performance. I think it is in everybody's interests collectively that we've agreed to move on, to focus on the future. We both have vested interest in his son to provide the best cars for him and get the best out of him. He started the season in the best possible way. He's an outstanding talent and hopefully we can continue to provide him competitive car. Regarding the statement Joss aired, he added, I'm obviously aware of the comments made. There was a discussion subsequent to the race. Everybody's focus is on future. The team's focus is very much on defending both these world titles we fought so hard to achieve.
maxes three successive titles, the 55 victories he's achieved, the 114 victories we've achieved as a team. We sit tied with Williams now in terms of Grand Prix victories. Our focus is on the future. Discussions took place following the race in Bahrain and we're all looking forward. Horner did not go into more detail regarding the supposed discussions, but recently an insider also reported that the employee involved in the scandal has been suspended by the team. Red Bull has been noting the situation carefully and their next few moves will matter a lot as they are under pressure from both the FIA and their future engine partner, Ford. Horner further stated that the team wants to be united for the future, despite whatever happened last week and would need to work together to be able to pull off a successful season. I'm not going to air all discussions that are private between parties, he said, but discussions have been inevitably had and the team is focused on the challenges ahead of use. The team is very focused on season ahead. Whilst we had a dominant race in Bahrain, we don't expect it in future races. We are acutely aware of our competitors. You don't achieve the kind of results we've had by not being united team. To win the race by the margin we did, to achieve a 1-2, the fastest lap, pole position. You need to be working in total harmony to achieve those kinds of racing. Only time will tell whether Horner and Joss are able to put their grievances aside for the sake of the team and Verstappen's future. Horner has been putting up a tough fight against all the trouble he has been facing recently, and despite constant signals to step down from his position, he refuses to do so. Even Jose's comments that his presence will destroy the team have not slowed down his drive, and it is unlikely that he will leave voluntarily. It is also unlikely that he will be fired as the majority stakeholder, is on Horner's side and was present on the grid last weekend in Bahrain. The two halves of the company have differing opinions on Horner's role in the team, and the Austrian-owned part actually wanted to get rid of Horner way before this saga even began. Still, Horner was protected by the majority, tie half, and continued to be secured by them. Still, even if Joss feels like Red Bull is no longer the home for his child, Max would have no trouble finding a seat for next year. Wolf has already talked publicly about regretting not signing Max on as a junior driver and he will not miss the opportunity to have perhaps the best driver on the grid race for him. Furthermore, it has also been rumoured that Horner's role in the team has caused others to look elsewhere for opportunities as weak, including Chief Technology Officer Adrian Newey. Newey and his brilliant mind could be credited to the team's recent success. Previously, it was rumoured that Newey had pledged loyalty to Red Bull even though he was close friends with Horner and that the pair had fallen out recently. And now that Horner is not going anywhere, it may be Newey looking to make a switch. What will happen to the team is not yet known, but only a couple of strings are currently holding it together. The next few months will be crucial in determining whether the current constructor champions can survive this whole ordeal, but retaining Newey and Verstappen would be the top priority for the officials. What do you think of Horner's comments on Verstappen? Do you believe there is a chance that Verstappen will leave Red Bull for Mercedes even after his current success with the team? Let us know in the comments below. As always, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Formula One news.